This is Sebastian Middle Martinez, MMA Net here with Derek Lewis, who faces Blagoy Ivanov here at UFC 244. So Derek, this is shaping up to be one of the craziest and biggest events of the year. We got the BMF title, The Rock is going to put the, uh, the belt around the winner, Donald Trump is going to be here. All this craziness and all this hype, is that something that's affected fight week or your, you know, your preparations or even your thoughts leading up to your fight? Oh, not at all. They're not here to see me, so I'm good. Well, a lot of people are here to see you, though, because you've become kind of a fan favorite. And, I mean, the whole quote, my balls was hot, has become a T-shirt, has become a quote. I mean, like, how, how much do you... Life, I guess, huh? So, um, I guess it's cool that people come to see me. That's fine. But um, we'll see how everything goes Saturday. Well, you're facing a guy who's kind of a tricky guy. He's, he has had some close fights, some decisions that not everybody thought went his way. Uh, specifically the Ben Rothwell fights, a lot of people had scored for Rothwell. Did you see that fight and did you think that uh, Ivanov won that fight? I didn't see the fight. I didn't even know anything about, um, what's his name? Bovard? Blagoy. I didn't know anything about Blagoy until I was about to fight Junior. Then I seen Junior fighting this guy and I thought it was a fight before UFC, but then I seen that it had Reeboks on. And I said, oh, okay. And I didn't know when that fight had took place either. So that's the only reason why I found out of Blood Gore um, so whenever he fought Junior. But is that not a risky fight then? Because, I mean, you're a former title challenger. You're a much bigger name. It's a, it's a big risk for you, taking on a guy who a lot of the mainstream audience in the U.S. don't necessarily know. Um, not at all. Because we're all in this thing just trying to make a living anyway. So it's a job to us. So it's, to me, it's, it's not a risk at all. No, I would still fight somebody that's not even ranked, like Greg Hardy. I would still fight him. It doesn't matter who. And so you've you're quite a bit into your UFC career now. You know, you had you know some ups and downs. You had some really big wins, and you know you challenged for the title and everything. How would you say you've grown as a fighter, but also as a person through this experience? Um, just by get, getting surgery out of the way it makes me feel a lot better. You know, um, having the help that I didn't have in all my previous fights, it makes me feel a lot better. You know, um, and it really made me see it, um, UFC in a different light, it made me want to take it more serious now because I feel 100% now. Yeah. Well, one of your big fights that you had was obviously the Alexander Volkov knockout, which, you know, really catapulted you into the spotlight. He's now taking on Greg Hardy, who's a, a pretty controversial character in the, both from the UFC and your division. How do you feel about Hardy? Because some people have some pretty bad things to say about him. Some people don't really care. You know, they, they say leave the past in the past. But where do you stand? Um, since he's been running his mouth about me lately, so I would just say F Greg Hardy. You know, I would like to fight him soon, soon as um, UFC will allow us to. And him against uh, Volkov, who do you have winning that fight? I'll go with Volkov. Yeah. But should Hardy win, is that a, that's a fight where you want it? Shorty is not, um, Hardy is not going to win that fight at all, no. Well, uh, going back to your fight, Ivanov, you know, what do you feel you need to do to defeat him? Because so far he's been kind of a tricky puzzle for a lot of people. Um, I feel like I'm the same way, you know, I'm a tricky puzzle. Guys thinking that, oh, that I might be down and out in later rounds and I come back and just knock him out. So I believe I'm a tricky opponent as well. But... Um, the biggest thing that what I got to do in this fight is just stay on the outside, work my jab, and move to my left, you know, because he's southpaw, move away from his power. That's it. And the title picture in the division is a little shaky right now. I mean, Stipe took it back. We're talking about a trilogy, uh, and fans seem a little bit split on it. Some people want to see. Some people think it's like holding up the division, so to speak. What do you think? Who should be the next to challenge for the title at heavyweight? Um, I think um, Francis should have got the title shot already. Uh, I don't think it should have been a third um, just that quick or what. You know, I don't think it should have been a immediate rematch like that. I think Francis should have got it. Then maybe um, DC would have been back. But, you know, I just think it's just too soon. Well, rounding off then, like I said, this is going to be one of the biggest events of the year. Lots of people coming in from all over the world to New York, to Madison Square Garden. What should those fans expect from your fight with Ivanov? Um, 
fans should expect from my fight is going to be a fight at night for sure. You know, because I put on great performances, even the fights that I lose, I still put on great performances. So they should see. Thank you very much. Good luck in the fight.